In the first part of this tutorial, we illustrated how to radiometrically calibrate an ocean optics spectrometer and spectra sweep for applications that will utilize an integrating sphere. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to make photometric, power, and color measurements of an LED using an integrating sphere. This tutorial assumes that you have already installed the drivers for your spectrometer and have SpectraSuite installed on your computer. If not, please log on to OceanOptics.com and download the tutorial for getting SpectraSuite up and running on your PC. For performing the radiometric calibration, we used a USB 2000 Plus spectrometer, Alice one cal int calibrated light source for integrating sphere applications, an FOIS-1 integrating sphere, a 600 micron Viz NIR fiber optic patch cable, and the SpectraSuite software. For measuring an LED, we will also use the LED-PS LED driver that mates to the FOIS-1 integrating sphere. Once your system has been calibrated, you do not need to recalibrate the system each time you wish to take a measurement, provided you have not removed the fiber from either the spectrometer or the integrating sphere, and you do not drastically disturb the orientation of the fiber. You have calibrated the fiber, spectrometer, and integrating sphere as a system, so any alterations to the system will mandate a recalibration. First, you should connect the power to the LED-PS. Insert a standard 5mm LED and turn it on by flipping the toggle switch to the on position. Ensuring that the LED comes on and you have connected it correctly to the LED-PS, mate the LED-PS to the integrating sphere. You can adjust the LED drive current by turning the potentiometer on the side of the LED-PS with a small common screwdriver. The drive current is read out on the digital display of the LED PS in milliamps. Make sure that the USB cable is connected to the spectrometer and the USB port on our PC. This completes the setup. Now that the setup is connected, start up the SpectraSuite software. You should be greeted with the SpectraSuite interface showing a picture of your spectrometer and the data sources pane. To begin the absolute irradiance measurement, click on File, New, New Absolute Irradiance Measurement in the menu. You will see the Absolute Irradiance Setup dialog box appear. Select New Spectral Acquisition and click Next. Make sure that your spectrometer is highlighted, indicating that this is the source of spectral data and click Next. Since in the first part of this tutorial we have already radiometrically calibrated our system, we select Get Irradiance Calibration from File and click Next. Browse to the location of the calibration file you saved during the radiometric calibration. Select this file and click Next. On the next screen, select the option Use Integrating Sphere and click Next. Clicking the Set Automatically button lets the software select the best integration time for your experiment. You may have to click this button more than once to get the last peak value and recommended peak value text boxes to both turn black, indicating that the software has chosen an appropriate value of the integration time. Add any averaging and boxcar smoothing in this window and click Next. Turn off the LED-PS by flipping the toggle switch to the OFF position and click the gray light bulb button to store the dark spectrum. After you have stored the dark, you can turn the LED-PS back on by flipping the toggle switch and click Finish. In the main SpectraSuite window, you see a graph of the calibration light source with radiant flux in microwatts per nanometer on the y-axis and wavelength in nanometers on the x-axis. You may have to click Scale Graph to fill window to see the entire spectrum. 
SpectraSuite can automatically compute certain parameters of light sources in terms of energy, power, and photons over the entire spectral range of the spectrometer or over a range specified by the user. To access these values, click the icon New Energy, Power, Photons atop the spectrum graph. In the Energy, Power, Photons dialog box, you will see your spectrometer highlighted as a spectral source. You will also see two text boxes for setting the integration options. In this example, I will choose to integrate the white LED spectrum from 400 to 800 nanometers. There is also a drop-down menu for choosing the integration method. In this example, I will use rectangular as the integration method. Clicking Accept, you will see the Energy, Power, Photons chart appear in the SpectraSuite main window. This chart lists the serial number of the spectral source, the limits of integration and method you specified, and the various parameters computed by SpectraSuite. To save this chart of value, simply click Log in the menu and select the directory you want the value saved and click Open. SpectraSuite can also compute various photometric quantities from the absolute irradiance measurement. Clicking on the new photometry measurement icon brings up the configure photometry dialog box. In this dialog box, you again see your spectrometer highlighted as a spectral source. There are two additional fields for observer and steradians. Choosing the 2 degree or 10 degree observer changes the luminous efficiency function applied to the irradiance spectrum to correspond to photopic and scotopic responses of the human eye. The luminous efficiency function is plotted in the graph tab under observer information for your reference. Since we are measuring an LED, by inserting it into an integrating sphere, we can leave the steradians value at the default 1.0 value as the software will automatically change it to the 4 pi steradians value. Clicking Accept brings up the photometry chart in the main SpectraSuite window. Just as in the Energy Power Photons chart, the spectral source is listed along with the parameters you specified. Also, the values computed by SpectraSuite, such as lux and lumens, are listed in the chart. To save this chart of values, simply click Log in the menu and select the directory you want the values saved and click Open. Another feature of SpectraSuite of interest to this application is color measurement. To compute the colorimetric values of the LED, click on the color measurement icon in the data display toolbar. Select the active processing option and click on the top source in the chart below to highlight the absolute irradiance spectral acquisition. Click Accept. Select Emissive as the mode. Choose your observer and reference illuminant. Click Accept. We are brought back to the main SpectraSuite window showing the color value chart and chromaticity diagram. Just as before, the spectral source is listed along with the parameters you specified and the computed colorimetric values of the LED. Just as before, to save the chart of color values, simply click Log in the menu and select the directory you want the values saved and click Open. For more information on the color measurement mode, see the color measurement tutorial at oceanoptics.com. These simple steps should assist you in measuring colorimetric, power, and photometric quantities of standard LEDs using the LED-PS and integrating sphere. For this and more instructional videos, log on to oceanoptics.com. You can also reach us via email at info at oceanoptics.com.